The first one. The first you one? Know, yes. Okay. The first one. Oh boy. Yeah? Yep. Oh That's no. Years. That's not a good sign. Oh, hold on. My soundbar turned off. Ooh. I want to hear whatever dumb music's playing here. Frog Fractions. URL of the Year Edition. <laughs> Excuse me? It's revolutionary. The absolute best way to teach your child about fractions. So the court ordered that we gotta get smart and shit, Anthony. I'm sorry, I, You Martin. could've fooled me. Yeah. Not for what I've been fucking saying. <laughs> but okay. We gotta, we gotta learn math. We, okay? we gotta... We got oh, no. Not math class again. Yeah. You can still purchase the Frog Fraction soundtrack! Yep. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, bye. Okay. Ooh. Play, play. I don't know why I let you like. All right. So you have to eat the. You gotta eat the bug. Click to eat the bugs. You shoot your tongue out. And you eat bugs. And eat the bugs. But you gotta stop them from eating the fruit. Oh. Or okay. else your indignity meter goes up. Oh, jeez, that's not good. Yeah. Hold it to go longer. Oh, okay, go. that is helpful. Yeah. We're learning math and shit. Yeah, fractions. Your score is sixteen thousand four hundred sixty-nine over two thousand five hundred. Oh god, that's so dumb. <laughs> Oh, you got 15 Zork mids. That a, oh, geez, that is a world uh, yep, screen. Yep. That's disturbing. Alright, you got screen. Alright, oh. choose your upgrade. You got three fruit. Alright, so, so it, you know, go over. Alright, that's lock on targeting for two fruit. And uh, it, it auto targets uh, the bugs. It helps it makes you make you a glowy red list of bugs you hate. <laughs> All right, two. Uh, oh, I can't. I can't uh, afford anything else. Eight fruit, static cloud here. Keep, uh, keep uh, yeah. hovering over them. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That that just grabs bugs that are near each other, yeah. right? Uh, Dorians. Uh, they smell awful. Bugs will take. Oh, longer bugs to think they're the stinky. Fruit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, turtle. turtle. To upgrade your lily pad to a turtle friend, you can ride him to grab fruit off the side. Who put that fruit there anyway? For five. Oh, that's fucked what's, up. What's next? The cybernetic brain. Anything your regular old frog brain could do, this cybernetic frog brain could do better. It costs eight Zorkmans. You can get it right now. Is this just an auto click? Uh, no, no. Oh, okay. It's just to teach you math. Uh oh. Uh, what's what's next? Keep going. Keep. keep oh, going. oh yeah, there we go. Uh, uninstall lock on targeting. Chicks don't dig on cyborgs. It makes licking bugs <laughs> less fun. Get the surgeon to uninstall it. What's next? Uh, a dragon. Uh, uh, upgrade your turtle friend to a dragon. He'll love his new dragon shape. I swear. The shell is just holding him back. Oh, what's that's... next? A warp drive. <laughs> what the fuck? Install a warp drive on your flying dragon. Now he'll really take you places for 25,000 fruit. A work visa. You're only in the country on a temporary basis. You're going to give it all you have while you have the chance. 750 workmen's. PR department. This well-trained team of marketers ensures that the public has the correct impression of you for 2,000 workmen's. <laughs> Dance, dance shoes. shoes! Designed for the professional dancer, these low-rise slip-ons have a two-part rubberized sole for maximum control for 10 Zorkmans. Voice modulator. The constituency is always more impressed by a deep, booming voice. Our surgeons are on call 24 hours a day to give it to you at a moment's notice. Bug drugs. Requires a voice modulator. Drugging the water supply will pacify delinquent bugs, keeping them off the streets and out of trouble, and not coincidentally staying home and watching bug porn. <laughs> Meteorology satellites. A system of satellites to help your meteorologists provide more accurate and precise weather forecasts. Padlocks. Adding padlocks to bug point storage warehouse should cut down on the shrinkage considerably. <laughs> Presidential swimming pool. This heated pool provides a familiar wet environment in which the bug president can relax. What? Alright, well, what, what, do you want to buy any upgrades? I Maybe? Yeah, you can afford that. Lock on. Yep. Alright. Wave one, here we go. Yeah. What? Yeah. Is this an allegory for something? Because uh, <laughs> it feels like an allegory for something. Frog, frog fag, you're learning that. Come on. Yep, nine eighths. Yep, yeah, three eighths. halves. Yep. Seven nines, five six. Man, your score is just rocketing up there. <laughs> That's yeah. such a smart way to show the score. Yeah, well, you know. Alright, you got, you got three free. Alright, well, can, can you get. Uh, nah, you need eight fruit. I can get the turtle. Alright, yeah, I get the turtle. Yeah. Alright, now, uh, you got, now you got what's sad movement. Yep. I need you to level with me, Dominic. How many hours did you spend playing this game before you came over? Uh, Enough. Enough time to, to get it. To, you know, really get in there in the, in the guts of it. So, you, yep, yeah, you can what's sad. You can grab the fruit. You get, upgrade your... 
Upgrade. Oh, you gotta, you gotta grab the fruit. You gotta sit under it. Yep, there, there you go. Alright, you got three fruit, you got get, 15 Zork mids. You get the brains. You can get the cybernetic brains? Yeah. Hey, good for you. Make sure frog brighter. He's got cyber. Cyber. Oh. <laughs> the score! Yeah, now, now this now the score is. Now it's scientific notation. notation. Oh, that's amazing. Man, I fucking. Ugh. I hate math. I know I'm you do. I'm so fucking bad at math. I mean, to, as one who spent a lot of time uh, studying math for, like, engineering purposes, yeah. math is hard. Yeah. Like, I like math. Math is hard. Yeah, this, this seems right up your alley, though. You, you, you get... All right, and now it's te teaching you typing, Anthony. You gotta... Yeah, it, it's oh, also, geez. he's just typing. Nut. Yep. Then. Yep. Pwn. Pen. What's real great if you look at the keyboard, it's, um, it's not QWERTY. I Except saw that. And, uh, um, uh, what that other, uh... That weird that, fucking... Door, Dorvac or something? Yeah. Oh, I forget what that other typing style is. That weird fucking alien shit. Yeah, I, it's... Like, I get the idea of, like, yeah, it has, like, all of the vowels and shit on the home key, like, all the more often used ones. Yeah, but the problem is, um, unfortunately... The QWERTY was kind of developed in a similar fashion of how the letters were used. Yeah. And it, it kind of makes right, more you, sense. You can, can you get static cling? Yeah, you yeah, want okay. that. Because that'll really up your, like, your, your bug the, eating the potential. Fruit, the, the bug eating. Oh, that, yeah, the typing's over now. Now you're back to last. And the... There you go, yeah. So uh, you, 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 now you grip, like, a bunch of them at the same time. That's great. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's crazy. Yep. Holy shit. Really ups your potential for just you know getting getting fruits and and bugs. All the bags. Yeah. Oh no, damn! It's hard. It's 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 hard. You know to well focus on math and 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 lab, fruits and, and fruit fruits. ripening yeah. all at the same time. I mean, as long as your indignity doesn't go up, you're you're you know it's not dignified to lose your fruit. No, not at all. Bug. Must be a good bona fide frog. Yep. Yeah. 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 Make my fruit Dorians? stinky. Yeah. Dorians really smell. Oh yeah, that's just <laughs> that's just awful. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, I don't know how much math you ever had to do in scientific notation, but when you get to, like, when you get to, like, you know, college-level physics and have to do stuff with planets, all the math is in scientific Aww. notation. Aww. You can, uh, you can get, get a, a Dargan. Buddy. Yeah, get, get Dargan, buddy. Yeah. Done. Okay. Hey, <laughs> oh, that's great. Now you can waz this. Now it's bullet hell. Oh Jesus! Them, but those bugs—they're out to—they're out to shoot you. See, see, you got your little Toho hitbox on your. Yeah, uh, I saw that. Yep. You know exactly when to. Yep. Just dodge them bullets. Haven't played Toho in forever. Well, it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I love Toho, but it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, you wanna? God damn it! It's like, oh, you wanna? You wanna fight Flandre? Just uh, get through the entire game with uh, without getting hit, yep. uh, yeah. without dying. You know, it's fine. Just do it. All right, oh. let's teach and typing again. No. No, not tow your card. Like tow your, yes. your foot. Uh, yep. Foos. I love typing class. Oh yeah, it's great. Great. You get to do them stupid word drills, and then at the end you get to play the dumb game. Oh yeah. Well, it's great because like in high school I had to take because I, they right, had like. Well, a... How much do you need for the warp drive? Twenty-five thousand fruit. Oh Jesus. All right, we're gonna be here a little while, so. <laughs> mm. Just gonna have to uh, yeah, just gonna have to grind for it, I guess. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, typing was, uh... Yeah, um, in, uh, like, it, part of one of our stupid high school requirements is like, oh, you know, you have to take this fucking thing, and it was, like, computer applications and typing or whatever. And the problem is, is I grew up on computers. Yeah, so... So, when <laughs> the time came to take that class, the teacher was extremely confused because he didn't understand why I was in it. Yeah. And... <laughs> And, um, so, like... Get, get in there real aggressive, like... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, they're eating this! Yeah! Uh, can't let the indignities go up. No. But, um, so he was very confused because, like, I knew what I was doing. I told him, like, I, I need to take this class. No. So I finished all the coursework in half the school year. Yep. And got to play games. Yep. I always love classes like that where you can, like, just do everything early. Yeah, just get it all done. Yeah, just maximize your... Well, it's just like, I always make fun of the life vampire because despite her uh, job in the tech industry as a user experience designer, she can't type properly. Dark. And, and, she, and she doesn't, like, she, she doesn't type properly. What, like, how did, what, did she, like, chicken poke it? Yeah, like, aggressively, though. Oh. Like, it's weird. Aggressive chicken poking. But, um, so she doesn't type properly, and I constantly give her shit for it, and <laughs> she talks about how the reason that she doesn't type properly is because... When she was in elementary school and they did the typing stuff, and they had like the little boxes that sit over the keyboard so you can't see, she looked under the box. <laughs> so she never learned how to like type properly, properly and without looking at the keyboard. Weird, yeah. Dark. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, on to how our education system fucks us super hard. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I always find it hilarious. I'm ambidextrous. And, like, everyone always, like, says, like, you know, they see me doing shit right-handed, and then when they see me right, they're like, like, oh my god, you write left-handed, like, why? And, and then I tell them, and I'm, like, invariably, like, okay, when I was a little kid, and the teacher was like, oh, right, like, okay, we're gonna, like, learn to, to write, and, and I picked up the pencil in my left hand, and, like, started writing, and she was like, no, you, like, you can't write left-handed, like, you're supposed to write with your right hand. And then I said, no, fuck you, I'm <laughs> going to write left-handed, you can't stop me. And so I learned to write, like, left-handed. <laughs> yeah, like, just, like, fuck, me, fuck that bitch. Fucking, ugh, I don't even remember her, her fucking name. Left you should uh you should uh uninstall the um the the, the lock on targeting yeah yeah chick, chicks don't really dig the yeah they don't dig the, the lock on targeting yeah, all right just, yeah just, yeah pull that shit off you'd be fine with without it oh fucking schmups yeah i just I wish Toho wasn't so goddamn hard. Oh my god, it's like, so difficult. It's just, what they ask of you is unfucking reasonable. Oh my god, it's in some of them. It's absurd. Like, yeah, I, I know. Like, the point is like get good, but like. But like, it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's really difficult to get good. Oh, I just want to play more. I forget which Toho that is. That it's like a competitive schmuck. Oh look, there's a. I sure do miss lock on targeting. It was pretty sweet <laughs> for two fruit. Yeah, I I, I, I want to play more of the, the, the one that's like, it's like versus shmupping. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, it's one of the newer ones, like newest ones, like newer, I, uh, I think. One yeah, I, but it, it's, because it, it's it's newer than 8. Yeah, uh... I think it's like 13 or something around there? Nah, uh, Maybe 12? I, I think it's like, a, it's one of those like 0.5 ones. Uh, but oh, what's this? So sick of lock on targeting. It just doesn't have the friction of going in all natural. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's going places. But yeah, uh, I think like Jimmy and I only played it once, and like, I want to play it more. <laughs> I wanna, it's cool. I want competitive it's, shmupping. It's a cool game. Yeah. I don't know, I liked, I always liked Toho. Toho's great, it's got great music. Yeah. But yeah, it's fucking hard. What's, what's it? What's, uh, there's another, there's another lock. Oh, oh yeah, there it is, that's there. Automation is the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god damn it. 
I'm starting. I'm starting to find the allegory. <laughs> Uh, you, you, we've, we've not even scratched the depths, Anthony. Of frog fraction. Yeah. By the way, I, I've got a timer going on right oh, now. Oh, yeah? Uh, in my mind. No, no <laughs> manual targeting is more fuel efficient and, and faster. faster. <laughs> uh, typing time. Up. Oh. Clothes horse. Yeah? That's interesting. Pico Farad. Heliotrope. Counter, counter pain. What? Dunk. <laughs> Calliope. Hydro foil. Uh, oh, I missed it. Oh. Hi hydro. Hydro foil. Prosciutto. I love prosciutto. Prosciutto. <laughs> you know, prosciutto. A little provolone. Syllapses. Slurry. Mm, slurry. <laughs> That's a. Uh, yeah. Anything described as a slurry is never a good thing. No. Putrefaction. That's easy. That's not even the word that, that, that said. Putrefaction. Oh, we got more lock on targeting. What do we got here? Lock on targeting frees me to focus my attention on the things that actually matter, like my kids and deciding which bugs need to die first. <laughs> Yeah, just get, just get all up in there. Just, so the more aggressive you are, if you if you grab the bugs early enough, the static cling will just rip them off from the top of the screen and see you. Just tied up here and be yeah. stupid. I mean, like, you can go all over the screen. So. Yeah, well, the dragon has its amazing flying ability. Yeah. He's got full wazda. Oh, there's a present! No! Oh, there, oh, another one. Shit. Oh, setting. Yeah. Oh, lock on. Studies show that manual targets live longer and happier lives. Oh, you just get so stunned the fuck up. I know. You get hit. It just makes it take forever. <laughs> oh. This is awful. Oh. Oh, just gotta, you gotta, just gotta get out. Just gotta dodge. You know what's awesome? Waffles. I stayed in the hotel with a waffle maker in the lobby once, and it was amazing. <laughs> Oh man, I could go for some waffles too. Is IHOP still open this time of night? Oh boy. We need 25,000. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, that's a whole wall. Just gotta. Oh, you're getting some indignity. Oh no. Man, that's really ramping up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. Your indignity filled up. All right, retry. There we go. Just start with the beginning of the wave. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta dodge. You gotta really like just, oh. actually carry out. Yeah. Oh. Fuck. God. Oh god. Oh, no. Oh. No, I'm just present. What? Whoa. Oh. There's the secret. There's the secret! <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes. Your face was what I was waiting for. I just, I, that, that, oh, that visceral reaction is so great. <laughs> Welcome to Frog Factions, Anthony. <laughs> I have, I understand now. <laughs> That slow ramping of difficult. All right. <laughs> so if you keep buying the lock on and unlock, it fills the whole screen up. You can keep going, and it's got a whole dialogue. Oh, that's great. It'll just never stop. Oh my god. Don't you love how the difficulty slowly ramps to the point where, like, yeah, like you need to start dodging, and it slowly pushes you, <laughs> you further, and further down the down. screen. Oh, that's so clever. Yeah. Right, oh, warp man. drive. Matt, Matt's, Matt's hard. All right. Uh, install the warp drive. <laughs> Where are we going? Glad you could finally make it, Lieutenant Hop. We're dealing with a serious infestation here. Oh my god. Be careful around those asteroids. Don't let them push you around. Jesus Christ. Who are these characters? Yeah, yeah, who the fuck is this? Well, I've never seen this bug shoot at anyone but you. I think they might be racist. <laughs> You let the asteroid push you around. We said not to do that. <laughs> hey, what was that thing that just fell? There's Bug Mars now. Their home planet. They're gonna regret messing with us. Bug Mars. <laughs> bug Mars. <laughs> you know, Bug Mars. You know, bug Mars. <laughs> do a barrel roll. <laughs> was that a picture of Albert uh, Einstein? Einstein? Yeah, <laughs> telling you to do a barrel roll. Yes. Oh man. Bugs. Fucking no good I bugs. enjoy that when I pick up a fruit, it gives me uncertain values. Yep. Well, you know. You ha already have like a billion. Like a billion fruit. Yeah. We're gonna go to Bug Mars, we're gonna get those no good bugs. Yeah, fuck the bug. Fucking good flying with you, Lieutenant Hop. See you on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Warning! No refuge. B, B attitude for gains. Oh, hello. I wonder if the big guy over there has any tips about dealing with fractions. Remember, we're here to learn about fractions. Don't forget to avoid bullets, Lieutenant Hop. But how am I fight? Uh, try, try is uh, yep. uh, there's a. Yep. There we go. Hit the, hit the ten tackles. Gotta, yeah. I mean, schmuck bosses are always fun. Yeah. You just, like, you, you literally just take a bunch of, like, shapes and smack them together. And it's a schmuck boss. And it's yeah. a schmuck boss. Destroy the core! You are under arrest. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> Mr. Hop, the charges against you are severe. They're accused of breaking and entering into our native habitat, Bugmars, with intent to purloin our delicious space fruit. How do you plead? <laughs> Amphibious, Your Honor. My name is Mr. Leap. <laughs> well, how do you plead, oh. Anthony? It's visual novel time. Amphibious. Huh, are you sure you don't want a lawyer? These charges carry a maximum sentence of 20 years hard labor, but there's a special offer this week. How would you like to become a naturalized citizen of Bug Mars? I've never been to a buggier Mars. Well, what do you... What you, what you, I love it on Bug Mars. Yeah. Excellent! All you need to do is pass a test on the history and culture of this fine planet. Shall we begin? <laughs> Our bug flag is four bug stripes. What do they represent? <laughs> I found the allegory! Crush your enemies in, power, in powerful mandibles. Yeah. I can almost feel their bones breaking now. <laughs> Next question. On the series Bug Jersey Shore, what is Bug Snooky's favorite flavor of ice cream? <laughs> Trick question. <laughs> Ice cream is unheard of on Bug Mars. <laughs> well, I had to try, didn't I? Four score and twenty bugs ago, Bug in Chief Bug Thomas Jefferson wrote in the Declaration of Bugs that we are blessed with which inalienable rights? <laughs> <laughs> the right to bugs, the right to own sentient space fruit as slaves, the right to refuse to testify against their hive mind in court, the right to parade around the courtroom in only your knickers. How the hell should I know? I'm a frog. Oh god, bugs oh god. everywhere! Sentient fruit is our slaves. 
unsettling, isn't it? You'd never guess just by looking at them that they're watching and judging our every move. <laughs> During the War of Bug 1812, General Samuel Bug Jackson held off the nefarious frog armada single-handedly. How many mecha frogs did he crush under the wheels of his bug Mercedes bugs? <laughs> Enough to reach the ground? We don't know. They hadn't invented counting back then. 420, I swear, they counted them twice. That's not just a pot joke. None. We didn't learn to drive stick until after his divorce. <laughs> they bite. Oh, they bite. Oh, bite, 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 bite. That one. A shameful moment in our history. <laughs> he regretted it for the rest of his life. Last question, Mr. Hop. How do you feel about fractions? Uh, I was told there would be no math in this exam. <laughs> oh, man, I love them. They're an intuitive way to represent a non-integer value. I'm actually learning slightly, leaning slightly towards scientific notation <laughs> these days. I don't know. I've never really dealt with them. I think my chair is made of bugs. Am I made of bugs? That one. <laughs> Spoken like a true bug. I'm impressed, Mr. Pop. Yours is the first perfect score our fake natural <laughs> program has ever seen. We were going to fire you into the sun, but instead we decided to issue a work visa. If you'll just sign here. Yeah, F yeah. Fist pump. Yo, Yo bugs, 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 bugs. Fist pump. Fist pump. <laughs> All right. Everyone loves a novelty signature. Just ask Bug John Hancock. <laughs> Bartholomew Salients. Working holiday visa. All right, sign. <laughs> Oh my. Yeah. yeah. Nailed it. Alright, Mars Fraction is the best Wave fraction. Mars. <laughs> oh. There you go. Yeah. We Down to the planet core! <laughs> Oh, sorry. You're using the wrong remote for this. Yeah. <laughs> As conceived in 1632 by Portuguese printing press operator André Felipe, boxing was a gentleman's game in which two men would square off and regale each other with stories monotonous for days on end until one of them fell... Enjoy the fake history of boxing, boxing. Andrew. <laughs> Over the next few years, the new sport developed a respectable following of a few hundred local socialites. <laughs> it's going places. It's going places. Oh, this is so smart. Uh oh. Oh, which way? Which way? <laughs> That one. It was Felipe's son, Andre Felipe Felipe, who developed what he called the punch. <laughs> 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 Schoolboy strike another in anger, causing him to fall down. When Andre Felipe Felipe challenged the then champion, British expatriate sleepless Bill Bishop to a match, Bishop was the odds on favorite. You can imagine his surprise when, while he was describing what he had had for breakfast that morning, Andre walked up and thumped him in the neck. Sending him down for the count in the parlance of our time. <laughs> Just knock him the fuck out. Just because. Yep. Oh man, this is smart. <laughs> yes, this is smart. That the boy had violated the spirit of the game. Uh. Officials were unable to find any actual rule that punching violated, and were forced to let the victory stand. Yep. This upset caused an uproar in the boxing community large enough to spill over into local newspapers, which drew the interest of many outsiders to come see what all the fuss was about. The newcomers were enthralled to engage in these borderline barbaric this displays way. of human strength and skill. And the rest is history. After a few sport sport school moms, single-minded about safety, added the padded gloves, of course. <laughs> This fucking bullshit. Today's boxing enthusiasts <laughs> fantasize about a newcomer that would rock the ring the way Felipe did. Calcification of the modern rule set has essentially locked the punching strategy into place. But it's the easy to get strategy. caught up in the <laughs> fantasy. Young scholars with big dreams often enter the ring with their crazy new trick, usually a variant of hypnosis. And though they've achieved nope, the occasional not that victory, way. none of the gimmicks have been robust enough to make it to the big time. Fucking submarine! I know! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fractions! <laughs> what the, the fuck is matter, happening? Though, is that Andre Felipe's original vision of boxing is still around. 
Gentlemen's boxing clubs can be found in cities all over the world. You can visit one most any day of the week and see two erudite gentlemen exchanging pleasantries in the ring. Most people only come to watch a few hours of a match and then leave. But every once in a while you'll find amongst your elders a stout fellow, a die-hard fan, who perhaps witnessed that historic battle between Felipe and Bishop, who for love of the sport must stay to witness the last glorious <laughs> seconds of wakefulness sleep what the away, fuck? only to return to fight again another day. <coughs> Found the spaceship! Oh boy. Is that it? The rumbling seems to have stopped and you feel the intense downward pressure let up. After a moment, you calm down enough to start taking in your surroundings for the first time since the seemingly dormant vessel sprang to life. Command module, the walls of the circular room curve to meet at a point that most, must correspond to the curved nose of the outer hall. Lining the walls you see a porthole, a glowing display, and a control deck. A ladder leads aft. If you don't know how to get started, type help and press enter. What next? Hmm. <laughs> Zork time, motherfucker. Zork time. <laughs> Look at this genre-defying masterpiece. <laughs> uh, I don't know how in-depth they want my commands to be. Well, just uh, yeah. do help first. And, yeah, let, and let, yeah, let's do help. See what they expect of you. Yeah. This is a story that I interact with entering simple English look commands. Look around, look. Look, you know, examine, examine, inventory, get F. wrench, turn knob, push button, enter phone booth, climb stairs, open box, read pamphlet, pour orange juice into glass, <laughs> put plate on placemat. And finally, remember the adventure gamer's maxim. If, it is pos if it's possible to do, it must be good and wise. <laughs> what next? Climb ladder. Captain's quarters. This looks like an all-purpose living area. A sleeping pod sits next to a nightstand. A ladder leads to the fore. An oriental rug lies in the center of the aft wall. This, de actor, <laughs> this decorative <laughs> oriental rug sits in the center of the room. Looking at it more closely, it doesn't quite lay flat on the floor. There's a significant dip around the middle. What next? Hmm. I forget what they were fucking... We're just going to move the rug. Yep. Moving the rug, you discover a recessed hatch below it. Your score is going up by two-fifths of a point. <laughs> Remember, this is about fractions. It's about fractions. What next? You have to work it a bit, but after you give the wheel a few spins, the hatch pops open. <coughs> what next? I love text games. I know. Engine room. Nearly every surface of the room is covered with a sticky pink goop, which seems to be thicker near a gray machine sitting in the corner. A hole in the wall exposes a nest of wires. There's a hatch leading back to the captain's quarter to the fore. What next? Hmm. The machine consists of a spigot aimed at a flat platform. A handwritten sheet of paper has been hastily taped over the base of the platform. What next? This is the out of order note included in your game package. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> Get fucked! You just you you. you oh. The look on your face is so right, great right now. Right into it. Right, right into, into it. it. Get fucked. What next? <laughs> Peering into the exposed machinery, you see what looks like an empty coffee can that you're guessing doesn't belong there. What next? <laughs> You twi twist the can and it eventually comes loose, but you've ripped the insulation off an adjacent wire in the process and it begins sparking as it comes in contact with an adjacent strut. You glance down at what you've taken. Huh. It really is a coffee can. <laughs> what next? What next? An, an empty, empty coffee, coffee can. can. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, I'll leave. It's already oh. open. Just type leave then. I don't understand that. Ah, bit. you bastards. <laughs> Fair enough. Captain's quarters. This looks like an all-purpose living yeah. area. It's a pod. Uh, bah, 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 bah. The sleeping pod looks like a bed with a lid, but you su you have to assume it's got some sort of suspended animation functionality. I mean, right? There's a hole on top next to a gauge reading empty. What next? The lid seems to function automatically. Hmm. <laughs> You can't safely sleep until you're confident you you'll return to Bug Mars by the end of the trip. Ah, uh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> God, what next? God, what was that? A was that a door leading? A to ladder. Oh, it was a ladder. Yeah. Okay. You clamber across the ladder. 
The walls of the circular room curved to meet a point that must correspond to the curved part of the outer hall. Lining the walls is a porthole, glowing display, and a control deck. A ladder leads aft. What next? Through the porthole, you can see a background of stars shifting as the ship gently spins. The constellations are all unfamiliar to <laughs> you. Of course they are. Uh... The glowing green display shows a map of the galaxy with a destination you don't recognize marked and an ETA of about 3,000 years. Looking closer, you see two on-screen buttons labeled Route Details and New Destination. One X. Let's see. How do you want to do that? The screen spills forth a slew of steps such as Spiral Spin where that spathy system far faster than you can fathom. <laughs> Destination? Destination. Oops. <laughs> New destinations? Destinations. The nav computer dumps you into an interface so obtruse that before you even consciously process what's happening, you've hit the back button and you are at the main <laughs> <again>. <laughs> What next? <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's not that simple. It's not that simple. Uh, I guess I want to examine the command module. Yeah. I don't understand what you mean. What to was ask. that a module or a station? I think. Yeah, I don't understand what you. Uh, I, press look again to see the. Room. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, control deck. The control deck. Yeah. That's what it was. The control deck consists of an array of switches and a pair of joysticks. Let's hope you never need to override the ship's autopilot because there are definitely not frog joysticks. <laughs> The control deck is blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay. Same thing. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Ask your parents about the space thing sometime. <laughs> <laughs> I was curious what it would tell me when I tried to do that. It tells you to get fucked. That's what it tells you. There's nothing else in here, is there? Um... Uh, oh, the Curb knows the outer hall. Um, porthole glowing display. Control yeah. deck. Ladder leads aft. Oh, I can go aft. Okay, there we go. Or is that... I actually might just take me back to the cabin. I think. Yeah, yeah it okay. does. Well, there's nothing else in here. Unless I missed something down all on the fucking... Really nice. uh, a nightstand. Oh, uh, yeah. The nightstand offers a single drawer, which is closed. You open the drawer, revealing a thick manual. <laughs> it's a manual for the navigation computer in the command module. God damn it. After leaping through it, you feel confident you understand how to use the interface well enough to set up a route back to Bug Mars. Your score is going up by two and an eighth points. <laughs> so you're at two and an eighth plus two fifths eighth of a point. point. So that... Oh, I'm not good at math. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, uh, okay, you, you got the manual. Yeah, I got the manual so I can go to the nav system now. So I need to go back down the ladder. Uh, right, oh, you're yeah. at the okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah to the you display. Want to add X to display. Yeah. Yeah, X to display. Going green display shows map of galaxy. New destination. Can I just fucking do that instead of having to type press? Yes. You definitely plot a course back to Bug Mars. The <laughs> engines roar and you feel G forces shift. The ETA reads fifty-seven and three fifths years. <laughs> huh. You run a diagnostic and determine that the vast majority of the time is going to be spent through bug customs. Luckily, you can sleep through most of it. The <laughs> score has gone up by three and a third points. Okay. Now we can fucking go sleep in the bed. Yeah, back uh, up. Yep. Enter sleeping pod. Your head was barely has barely touched the pillow when an alarm begins repeating. Perfume chamber empty. You will wake up cranky. You assume it's going to stop eventually, but a couple minutes later, it still hasn't. You get up. There's no way you can sleep like that. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> you don't want to wake up cranky. I don't do want to wake up cranky. I need to find perfume. All right, go find some perfume. Oh Jesus! Well, the great the, the goop was downstairs. The goop right? was so downstairs. Yeah. Let's so, see. Uh, see what's down there. Yeah. Enter hatch. All right. Uh, it's covered in sticky pink goop. Seems to be thicker near a grade machine. X goop. A thin coating of sticky pink goop covers every surface of the room. Gross. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, goop coffee can. You need to be holding oh. the goop to do that. <laughs> Pick up goop. The goop is stuck to the surface. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, there's wires, uh, sticky pink group, uh, gray machine sitting in the corner. And the gray machine has a piece of paper on it that probably isn't enough for group. So... Well, that's the out of order thing that was in the, yeah, it's in, out of in order. the game package. Yes. <laughs> uh, can I cheat and use the coffee can? Do I have the coffee can on me? Uh, I'll check your inventory. Ah! I have that, you're right. Uh, just I. You're holding the can. Okay. Hmm. This game's fucking great. It's, it's funny. so fucking great. Scoop goop into can. I only stand, understood as far as scoop goop. <laughs> Snarky ass fucking <laughs> bullshit interface. <laughs> hmm. I mean, Makine only has the note on it. <laughs> Good. Um, fuck me. I can't go back out of the captain's quarters, it looks like, because they don't even give me the option of a... Wait, I could go... To the the... ladder. Well, the ladder goes to the command center. Yeah. But I don't have a ladder. For... The ladder from where I came is non-existent anymore. It does not show up in my look, so whatever wait, I need... Wait, hold on, wait, what? <clears throat> no, there's the ladder from... There's three rooms. Yes. There's the command room, the captain's quarters, and then the underneath the captain's quarter through the hatch. Yes, okay. So there's yeah. one ladder and one hatch. Yes. So, yeah, there's just a ladder to the four. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know what I need for the goo. <laughs> there's gotta be something. Check every room. Check every little yeah. detail. It's the same as it is. Um, hmm. nothing new there. And the joysticks don't matter. I always find in adventure games it helps to try and do everything to everything. Yeah, it's true. Gate reading empty. Well, yeah, because there's, yeah, there's, there's, there's no, no perfume in the there's machine. There's no perfume in the machine. I need to put perfume in the machine. All right, well, <clears throat> we'll go, go back down to where the problem yeah. is. All right. It covered with the go. We tried the yeah. go. We couldn't get it. All right, it's near the machine. All right, a hole in the wall, that's the wires. Hmm. There's a bare wire in there, sparking as it makes contact with an adjacent strut. So we gotta fix that wire, too. Yes. So, X the machine. Yeah, X McKine. All right, it's got a spigot. Uh, there's uh, the sheet of paper. Uh, there's, it's taped over the base of the platform. Yes. So, try the spigot. Yeah. That, look at the spigot. The machine gets this. Oh, God, it doesn't. Okay. It doesn't I'll, do uh, anything. Uh, try the paper then. Yeah. No, the paper is just the. All right. Yep. Okay. Uh, try taking it. Yeah. There you go. You rip the note off, leaving a fluttering. It's piece electrical of tape. Behind and revealing a control panel. Most of the control panel is rendered unusable by the sticky pink goop. You see a row of what looks like radio preset buttons, all but two of which are stuck. There's also a big red lever. None of these are legibly labeled. 
That sounds uh, like a standard fucking uh, control yeah. panel to me. Yeah, first we're going to take the tape. All right, tape has been taken. Tape wire. You wrap the tape around the bare wire, insulating it. Your score has gone up by one and two-thirds points. Okay. Yeah, you know what your score is at right now, right? <laughs> okay? Good. Yeah. <laughs> fractions. <laughs> fractions. Frog fractions. Frog fractions. All right, what next? Uh, you got... You got uh, uh, let's bring the control panel again. All right, so we can fuck with the control panel. Yep. Um, uh, all the, there's two buttons and a big red lever. Press button. <laughs> the raise button clicks into place and the previously selected button pops up. Local currency, says a robotic voice. What next? Pull lever. The machine whirs, dispensing local currency. A voice says, a thick stream of zorkmids shoot out of the faucet, <laughs> bounce off the flat platform, and scatter around the room. What next? Uh... Take a Zork mid. Take the Zork mids. Take the Zork mids. You spend a few minutes gathering up the scattered Zork mids. Your score is going up by a third of a point. <laughs> what next? So we have. So there's another. There's another button. Yeah, there's another button on the control panel. Press button. The raise button clicks into place, and the previous selected button pops up. Mom specialty says a robotic oh, voice. Jesus, the machine rolls, dispensing mom specialty. A voice says. Pink goop streams out of the faucet, splashing against the flat platform and getting everywhere. A couple drops land in your mouth, and you recognize the flavor. Bacon milkshake. <laughs> Atmospheric anomaly detected, a different voice says. A whirring sound ensues, and the bulk of the goop is sucked into invisible vents, leaving just enough goop floating around to be gross and annoying. Atmosphere purified, the voice says triumphantly. What next? Hmm. I take the goop now. Ah, okay, that's what it is. Um, you can't get a meaningful amount just by collecting loose goop. So what next? Place can under faucet. Spigot. Or is it too commonly? You place yep, the can yep. below the spigot. Okay. Pull lever. Dispensing mom specialty, the machine says, says a thick stream of pink goop. Uh, sprays out. Yeah. Uh, it mostly gets everywhere, but the coffee can does end up filled. You grab the can. Atmospheric anomaly detected. The vents do their ineffectual thing. <laughs> Atmosphere purified. What next? To the hatch. Yep. <clears throat> and then you, you got a can of can can goop sleeping pod. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I guess. Well, what do you do with your bacon milkshake? You drink it. <laughs> no, you pour it into the thing. <laughs> You bring the can close to the hole, and the hole sucks the pink goop right in. The nearby gauge fills up. Your score is going up by but nine hands of a point. point. Nine hands. <laughs> All right. What next? Entering the sleeping pod, you lie down in the sleeping pod, close the lid, and drift off, secure that in fifty-seven something years you'll return to Bug Mars, a wealthy frog. <laughs> when you wake up, you're clearly not in your sleep pod. You blurrily glance around to get your bearings, and you appear to have been sleeping on a heart-shaped bed covered with roses. A voice comes from the next room. Awake already, a wispy human figure in a bathrobe and crown walks in. She bends over and kisses you on the nose, and suddenly you feel your body shifting. Yay, she laughs and claps, and you realize that you've been transmogrified into a human form. <laughs> Press space to continue. <laughs> Watch out, man! They're eating your food! <laughs> Oh no, you're in dignity! You wake to the start with a ho what a horrible dream! You call your friend Draggy the Flying Dragon just to talk to someone. Yeah, hello, well, Draggy says, I just had the worst nightmare you explain the situation. I'm not sure that a support group for human bug eaters is really going to get much of a following, Draggy ponders. Maybe we drummed up a little publicity first? I know just the PR agency. Five minutes later, Draggy shows up at your door, dressed in the nines. He tosses a frog's tuxedo at you. Put this on, babe. We're running for president. <laughs> what say you to allegations that you're not a natural-born citizen, that you're under 35, and that you're a frog? Uh oh, Jesus. Uh oh. Uh oh. DDR time. <laughs> <laughs> How good are you at DDR? Uh, go if with all else fails, try button mashing. Yeah, right. <laughs> D 
DDR on the fucking uh, keyboard, keyboard is the worst oh, yeah. fucking thing it ever. It is. It's awful. Yeah, like your brain just cannot collate like the. Comedy. It does not scan. Oh, <laughs> oh wow, you uh, you nailed that string real fucking good. Yep, yep. <laughs> when all else fails, just smash button. Why does this hurt? No, the fractions though. I'm sure there's some audio right now. <laughs> Oh jeez, the soundboard turned off again because yeah. I was doing text games. <laughs> oh man, you smoked them! You're a shoe in for president! <laughs> <laughs> Remember, uh, you can become president if you DDR hard enough. Yes. <laughs> Alright, you did it. Betsy Blue Bonnet. Sir Clarence Gastropod! <laughs> Ferdinand de Croker! Flaps McQueen! <laughs> Marag And introducing Drag Each Ceiling, Ceiling Eater, Eater as, as himself! <laughs> created by Twinbeard! Numerators and denominators! Frog fractions! <laughs> Here's your bug coffee, Mr. President. Heavy on the cream. The bug weather is sunny, Anthony! Bug economy manager. Weather report. Sunny. Bug assets. Two million zorkids. Count to produce... Cost to produce bug porn. Ten thousand. Zorkids per megabyte. megabyte. How many megabytes of bug porn do you wish to make? <laughs> We're gonna do the math and do all of that. <laughs> <laughs> so we got two million. Fucking amazing game. Still not over. Hit the credits. Still not. Still over. not over. We can make two hundred megabytes of bug porn. Wow, that's awful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How many pop-up banner ads? Fifteen thousand each. Do you want to oh. purchase? Don't worry, this interface is temporary. Bug software engineers are hard at work on Bug Cell 98. We actually can't because I spent all my money on porn. <laughs> what price do you wish to charge for a megabyte of bug porn? Hmm. <laughs> well? Mr. President, they're waiting. <laughs> they're waiting, Mr. President. That is not a number. Ah, what price do you wish to charge for a megabyte of bug porn? <laughs> <laughs> Day one results. The in-house bug porn musician decides to make bug contemporary bluegrass today. Nobody's quite sure what to make of it. Bugs seem unaware. <laughs> Press space. <laughs> you made 200 megabytes of bug porn at 10,000 zork bids a megabyte. You sold 18 megabytes of bug porn at 50 zork bids. Oh, good. We, we got fucked. Budget is 2 million. GDP is only 900. Profit is negative 1,999,100. One Assets, $900. <laughs> Press space. How many Zorkmans do you want to order the Bug Federal Reserve to print? Remember, Anthony, you can just print money. <laughs> I guess we'll let the successor worry about the inflation <laughs> problem. Press space. What upgrade would you like to install? <laughs> we can still buy the lock on yep. targeting. So we've got the bug drugs. Bug drugs. It like a billion, them, a yeah. mil, just tons of Zork bits. And they'll watch more porn. System of satellites help you accurately do oh, yeah. the weather forecast? Yeah. Alright, bug weather is hot and dry today. Good. <laughs> this game is still going. Hot and dry, bug assets. 7 million Zork bits. 87 million bug. Zork bits. Oh, 87 million. Uh, 10,000 uh, Zork bits per megabyte. How many megabytes of porn do you wish to make it? Oh, we can go 500 today. Yep. <laughs> How many pop-up banner ads, 15,000 each, do you want to purchase? There you go. <laughs> Capitalism tips. Be sure to charge more for your product than it costs to produce. <laughs> what price do you wish to charge for a megabyte of bug porn? Another 30,000. It's not you. It's my inability to distinguish you from prey. <laughs> <laughs> The sensors are working today. There will be no bug porn available at bug retail. The bug porn sensors bought all your bug porn at lunchtime. 
You made 500 megabytes. Uh, you sold 500 at 30,000 a megabyte. Budget, uh, b -b 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 yeah. Profit, nine nine million five hundred thousand. Now, how many do you? Uh, all right, yeah, press space. Yeah. How many do you want the, the bug Federal Reserve to print? No, no, no. It's okay now. <laughs> That's confident, huh? <laughs> <laughs> all right, what upgrade would you like? Drugs. All right, there you go. <laughs> I love, I love <laughs> the bug porn sensors. Bought all the porn. They prevent people from buying the porn by buying all, all the, the porn. porn. Which just perpetuates the industry. <laughs> yeah, it's great. An outbreak of frog STDs and bug porn actors is <laughs> driving... Drives production cost up. The weather report is cloudy. Bug assets. Uh, lots of Zorkmids. Cost to produce the porn is 12,000 megabytes. Uh, Zorkmids of megabyte. How much do you wish to make? You gonna make all the porn? I'm gonna make all the porn. Make more porn. All of it. There you go. Oh, the flag. I know. <laughs> Parthen Parthenogenic. <laughs> Superb performances made today's bug porn too hot. The warehouse burned down. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you sold zero megabytes of bug porn. Well, it all burned down. It was yeah. too hot out. It's fine, though. We're okay. <laughs> all right, how many Zorkmans do you want to print? That confident, huh? All right, what upgrade would you like to install? Uh oh, we gotta install the the targeting computer. Um, cause what 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 do you need for padlocks? Padlocks is an upgrade. It's 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 designed to make you think you can't get the padlocks because it looks like a padlock. Oh, but oh, you can't. That's retarded. Two million orphans. I'm retarded. Yes. <laughs> So is the game. That's the point. <laughs> all right, produce more porn. Oh man, all the porn. We have to catch up now, so we need to make a thousand megabytes of, of bug porn, and we need to run all of the pop-up ads. Yeah. Now you're thinking like a true porn maker. Andy. Yes. And we're gonna. We're gonna I love the main export of Bug Mars is bug porn. <laughs> bug porn. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Juvenile bugs posted as health inspectors gave your products a thumbs up everyone wants to see. <laughs> bugs complained incessantly about your high prices. Eh, but they still bought it. Yeah, they bought it anyway, so fuck them. Oh, I'm down to... Paying for uh, pornography. <laughs> right. Alright. How many Zorkmans do you want to print? Alright. Yeah, we're good. What upgrade would you like? Okay, now we can install the presidential <laughs> swimming pool. A familiar wet environment. When you're done taking a break, here, we need to get to work, huh? <laughs> Back on the, uh, the turtle friend. Oh, the turtle friend. Yep. Frog fraction. <laughs> what a fucking game. <laughs> what a fucking I game. I mean... It technically was a game. Technically was a video game. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> oh. That was so smart. Mm. Yep, so that's Frog Fractions. <laughs> Get fucked. Playing the shit from the Matrix. <laughs> what? There's your, there's your butt point. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at look at the screen. That's a screen of all of the uh, lock ons. Oh my god! Keep going. That's crazy. Uh, they get into a hole. It's like, yeah, you know, they start talking about oh uh, yeah the the waffles. Uh, his IHOP still open? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, worst case we could get frozen waffles at max. And it's, it's open 24 hours. Awesome. Let's get out of here. I'm still worried about lock on targeting though. Nah, uh am. Why are we still talking about this? Because the frog hasn't made the changes necessary to reach the next level of upgrades yet. <laughs> oh, when do you think he'll be able to? Hard to say. Maybe he's just too comfortable with the status quo? That's understandable. When all you've known is the wound, the outside world is scary. <laughs> How can we encourage frog to move on? Should we? Are we really sure of ourselves enough to imprint in things on his free will? I mean, would we be better off? We can't be sure of that. Maybe he's just, he'll just be miserable. And like they say, you can't go home again. You're right. I'm not ready to take on that kind of responsibility. 
But you're willing to repeatedly give him the hard sell on the unnecessary surgery on his increasingly fragile brain to install lock on targeting, right? Hmm, perhaps I've been too confident about my point of view. Haven't we all been, on occasion? Too right! It's a very human thing to do, isn't it? It's important to respect your nature, but it's also important to realize when your nature runs in opposition to the person you want to be. Well put. Thank you. So I guess you can buy lock on targeting if you want, and if you change your mind, you can remove it again. And then it just leaves those two off, uh, so you can keep doing it. Oh my all the god. Fucking fun story. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking game! Oh man, that's... <sighs> that's funny. Yeah, so Frog Rackers is just like a parody of... Yeah. Different genres of games and what people's expectations of a game are, you know. But you, you wouldn't think to try going off the edge of the screens because you, it's so ingrained yeah, to, to not do that, yeah. believe in the boundaries of the yeah. play space. <laughs> All the fucking visual novel responses are the best. Oh, that's so, oh, that was so good. That was so funny. Yeah, I, I, I spent about an hour yeah. playing this, trying to you know, get through everything. It's, oof. Yeah, that, that, I, it took me a... I want to say like upwards of ten minutes to get to get the first part to figure it out. I like yeah. I accidentally fell off the screen yeah. trying to dodge, and uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> fucking my boy, man! What the fuck? I think we're missing a very hot commodity in our world today by yeah. not producing a lot of bug porn. A lot of bug porn. Well, you can just don't worry. You can just print money. Just print those orphans. If it all goes under, you can just you can just fucking print money. It don't yeah. work. In memory of beard number two. Yep. Rip in peace, beard number two. And you have unlocked the soundboard. Oh, Jesus. That's great. <laughs> well, that was Frog Fractions. That was Frog Fractions. <laughs> that Fuck. is technically a game. Fucking amazing. What a masterpiece. <laughs>